Welcome to the Agri Science Department, where students get a chance to explore the possibilities, discover a passion through real-world hands-on learning experience. Within the Pathways system at Stillwater Area High School, we have a animal science program of study in the STEM and Environment Pathway. A common course that students start with in this pathway is the Animal Care and Management course which gives them an opportunity through hands-on experience to get introduced to a lot of the companion animals that they're familiar with are in our aquatics lab, the aquarium projects, and a very popular animal uh, show and tell project. Continued hands-on experience could be gained for students that are interested in the animal body and systems, uh, animal health, veterinary procedures, uh, labs are a weekly activity within the veterinary science course and we're very fortunate at Stillwater Area High School for those that are juniors and seniors to take a CIS animal science course where they can get four free college credits from the University of Minnesota and with that transcript for those credits that can be used anywhere not just at the U of M and we had students have used them across the USA we additionally have a sequence of courses in the Environment and Earth Science program of study within this STEM and Environment pathway. Available to the ninth grade students, we have a growing green course that makes extensive use of our greenhouse at Stillwater Area High School, where they get a chance to learn how to uh, grow uh, plants from a variety of types using a variety of methods. And if you're looking for something that is learning by doing, uh, this would certainly be the type of course for those students. Additional learning by doing opportunities for our students in grades 9 through 12 with our Sustaining Our Environment semester course gives them an introduction of some very practical things where these types of projects that they do in our Environmental Learning Center, our Greenhouse, and our Aquatics Lab give them a chance to see how they can really make a difference sustaining our environment. Our Fish and Wildlife 1 course, available to students in 10th through 12th grade, introduces them to Minnesota fish, mammals, and birds, and also gives them some introductory lab experiences in our Environmental Learning Center, along with introduction to some of our museum identification samples, and some introduction to our Rainbow Trout project uh, in our aquatics lab. Students could also follow up by taking Fish and Wildlife 2. Uh, this course uh, would cover additional fish, mammals, birds, and initially some reptiles, amphibians, and insects with taking those introductory labs from Fish and Wildlife 1, taking them up to another level, and looking at more of a management perspective as we had them do some of the projects as they work continued with our rainbow trout, uh, getting out to Browns Creek with the field trips, uh, just like they did in Fish and Wildlife 1, but more in a management uh, and responsibility standpoint. We do have a biotechnology course that fits into all of our programs of study in both of the pathways. This course is open to students in grades 10 through 12. Uh, this course is going to utilize equipment in their labs that can be found in many colleges and research labs, uh, not found in very many high schools to this level. And those labs, uh, three to four days a week, it's a very lab-based course, very practical, very current. Uh, type of techniques and lab procedures that they would be doing in that course. We additionally have uh, in the core curriculum, we do have a course that fits the art core and one that fits in the science core. In the art core, we have a floral design course uh, where students get to uh, make a variety of designs with fresh flowers, get to take those home while they learn the principles and elements of design. Our food science course meets the chemistry physics requirement. That's typically that junior level course. Uh, and that course gives them a lot of hands-on experience, uh, a little less math. We do a lot of model building and hands-on experience, a little slower pace than chemistry. These courses are open. Uh, some of them are open to ninth graders. Uh, we do have most of them are open to people in their 10th grade year and then the CIS course for that senior year. So we look forward to seeing you in one of these courses soon.